the mathematics of Tanya's stage were 210 degree angle, which meant that the diagonals, the mythical diagonals that everybody talks about, the festival, right. worked. Because if I was standing here and you were standing there, I knew that I could be clear and seen by every audience member if I placed you there. online right. with this and that. And you would place me. And that's what I meant about me and Wentworth shifting each other. We could always organically move knowing we were clearing each other of each other at the same time serving So do the aisles no longer do that? Not quite. No. And so you're asking young people to grasp that mathematics. You know, Manette said famously, it's just two prosceniums, one this way and one that way. That was an easy way to digest it. It isn't that at all. And so now it's become way more complicated. And if you've noticed, since the renovations, directors inexperienced on this stage tend to put the leading players in the center of the stage, and those people who don't know quite how to use it tend to gravitate to the center of the stage. But because the math doesn't work now with the diagonals, all the supporting players are upstage and behind them, right. and inevitably horribly distracting. Whereas if you saw a Phillips, a Langham, a Hirsch, a Guthrie production, everybody was dispersed around the skirt of the stage, sitting, squatting, standing on each other's shoulders, doing that famous Stratford thing with the one foot up on the stair. Ludicrous, but, but coming from a really organic need to change people's heights, right? So once young actors here grasped the need for that mathematics and where they were in the space, then you found ways to lounge on the floor and to step up and not feel, man, this is like Stratford acting. I mean, it's a cliche, but... And was it really bigger bums? I mean, are the seats wider now? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the space is smaller, right? So we cut back from uh, 210 to about 190. So let me risk a, a sports metaphor here. Uh, Maple Leaf Gardens was uh, crude and steep and <coughs> narrow, hard seats, and you were over the ice like this, and you were packed up, and the ex visceral excitement of being in the Maple Leaf Gardens mm -hmm. was exciting for that hockey game. Mm -hmm. The ACC, the seats are wider, it's back, I'm more comfortable. Whenever I go to the ACC, it's like... It's a question of engagement. If you can sit back, you are by definition disengaged. If you are forced to, to be here and close to your friends and comrades who are quaking with laughter or trembling with tears, you are going to have that physical impact. You are going to be inevitably more engaged in the experience. And yeah, I mean, you get a comfortable seat. You ever worked the Shockter in Edmonton? No. Unbelievable. They put comfy seats there because, you know, they had some money and they splashed it around. Everyone in the front row who's, a, you know, a donor and a patron, out cold, 60 <laughs> seconds from the moment you start. What do you do about that? I let them sleep. It's their money. <laughs> oh, no. I, you know, in the festival, I wake people up. But, it, you know. How do you wake them up? Sometimes I shake them. Sometimes I take the books out of their hands. Uh, sometimes, I, uh, sometimes I bark at them. Sometimes I, sometimes I frighten them. Uh, and sometimes I'm more charming. Uh, listen, I grew up with the reputation of the plumbers and, and, and those heroic guys doing heroic things with swords, flicking scripts out of people's laps. You come to hear a play. Let me do what I practiced so long to do. Except they might say, wait a minute, I just paid $95 for the seat. Let me do what I want to do. Well, I did suggest to when I was doing Coriolanus. Now keep in mind, I was covered in blood. I had two or three swords. It was leather. It was a, it was a Santo La Crosta, uh, costume. So it was beautiful and told the story of Coriolanus much better than I could have done. And she was there on the front. And I went, I said, if you want to read the play, do it outside. Because right now I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it here right now. This is where this is going to happen. So if you want to read it, you're absolutely free to read it. But not where I'm doing the play. So get out. So she put the thing under it, and she, she sat there. And one of the first people on their feet at the end of the show, oh, right? That evening, I was doing Fagin in Oliver. She was in the same seat. And I went, I know you. I see you. <laughs> Don't mess with me. Don't be reading the score. 